I don't know if that worked or not. Did that work or not? I don't know. Good morning, good morning. It is day 325 of from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Shani the harp is here. Jerry the stick is here. And my good self. And we are just leaving Luzensky uh, Monastery of St. Peter and Paul. And I slept there last night. Uh, two sisters, two nuns that took care of me. And oh my, did I feel the love like, oh my, did I feel the love. Uh, some of these nuns, they're just extraordinary. Uh, in orthodoxy, um, you become a nun, you can decide where you're going to be. Uh, there are no orders really, because they don't live by specific rules, rules like the Benedictine or the Franciscan rules. Uh, they have a duty to prayer and a duty to serve God. And of course there are, you know, there are, uh, what is that walking over there? Some kind of bird, but it's a ground bird. Oh, I think it's a huh, lunch. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I th you know, the, the monastery is built on the, on a side where there was a monastery. Uh, during the Ottoman, uh, the Ottoman times, uh, it was raised to the ground once or twice. All records are destroyed, but there are records from uh, earlier, earlier on, and there is a good chance it was a monastic site before that. But there is no actual physical proof. But when you think about it, the place is like... Uh, it's like a hundred, less than 150 meters from the A1 uh, on the old Via Militaris. And it's like an oasis. It's like you don't hear anything in there. You don't hear it. You don't feel it. It's just peace and quiet. Uh, the fact that the monastery is St. Peter and Paul. St. Peter, of course, I met in Rome. I went to see his his seat uh, in Vatican and then I visited Paul's grave a few days later. Uh, St. Paul's grave a few days later on the old walls of uh, Rome and that really touched me and uh, Paul will come across him again in Turkey because he uh, he of course he he, uh, he, w he was there you know, he was, uh, he traveled Antalya, Lanya, uh, that area, and he was preaching there. So we'll come across him, and his work is truly spectacular. Uh, yesterday evening, we had an evening of music, music and, and talking, and I feel very, very, very blessed at this moment in time. Like, uh, always a little unsure when I stop walking. I uh, get the jitters, but then once I'm on the way, or if I have company that actually is close to believing what, uh, close to seeing what I see, I feel much better. So I'm feeling good this morning. It was very cold last night, and now it's all defrosting, so I'm in the mud for a little bit before I go on to route number eight. And uh, route number eight will take me to Vacaville. Yes. Uh, I am truly blessed. I really, truly am. Uh, okay. Start of day 325. I can't believe it. Uh, it is uh, just over a month now. And I'll be on the road for nearly a year. Uh, 
it's very medieval, the whole thing, like, ah, I'm so glad I've got the harp with me. So glad I get to think every day about what it is that is truly important to me while exploring this extraordinary world, which I see more and more as like, uh, I still am in the Roman Empire, like, I think we never lived it. <sighs> For now, I'm plowing through the mud. Uh, by the look of it, the farmer was here before me. And uh, spring is around me everywhere. There is bad weather on the way. <sighs> For now, I'm good. For now, all is good. I'm going to head there. The road is there. And it is busy. But the A1 splits from the 8 and then I get to walk over the 8. There'll still be heavy traffic, but it'll be nothing compared to the A1. It'll be more local heavy traffic. Ah. Oh, the Balkan. It is just spectacular. It is truly spectacular. Now, and on that note of praise, I better start walking. <laughs> okay, see you later. Novihan. <clears throat> Just stopped at the supermarket for a cup of coffee and uh, something else to drink. I put a, a liter and something of fluids into my body. Should be able to do the next uh, next ten kilometers. And I've got four four to six kilometers left. Uh, it's a beautiful day for walking. Uh, there's a bit of climbing at the end of the day, like in two hours or so, uh, an hour and a half. I'll have to do a bit, uh, 200, 200 meters up to, uh, I'm at 500 now, so I'm heading for 800, I think. 
uh, yeah, slowly but steady, going higher and higher. Uh, feeling good, feeling good though, feeling good. With all the fluids in my body at some stage, I'll have to find a field. <laughs> now, look at hell, here we come. Watch him close the door, hear his feet on the floor. All I want to say is stay, he says it does not work that way again. Again, 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 again. It breaks my heart, it does again. Are the wrong words? Oh my god! And we start again. So I've left the big road behind me, um, the traffic was getting on my nerves like. So now I'm on a small road and uh, yeah, I'm going to zigzag my way around that road for an extra extra few kilometers to get to Farikel. I've got time, it's a beautiful day, the pack is feeling okay. Uh, I found a field, I had a chat with a man. We spoke German. I think he was on his way to Turkey. He was having his lunch. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And if I need to, I can, um, you know, if I end up um, be having to go a bit faster, I can get onto the road again at several places. So, life is good. I'll see you later. He kisses me, I hold him tight. He says we had a mighty time. Again, 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 I'll see you soon, my friend, again. I watch him close the door. says it cannot be that way again 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 it's her he says you know again I'm all Right, so I did a bit uh, on the back roads, which was really nice. 
and then I ended up on a path that actually uh, on both my maps it was there but the river has changed its course the little river that went underneath it and so it was a really steep climb no path so I went back and there uh, I'd met this uh, black golden retriever earlier on like this stunning stunning creature stunning really really beautiful beautiful boy uh, and he had followed me down to the river and he walked all the way with me to Vaccarel so I and uh, I'm at the petrol station now I have a little bit of time Ina who is gonna come and pick me up who is my host for the evening uh, she's a friend of uh, the uh, of Silka, who I stayed with in Slivenica. She's still in a meeting. So I'm here, and now this other dog started barking. And this dog walked like 10 kilometers with me. And I was, again, I was starting to really fret about this animal wanting to stay with me. Um, and then, and, and the stress of walking with a dog, like, like, free on a, on a, on a, on a big road because the eight is like one way out one way back anyway so that's the story Rory um, I got myself a drink I'm waiting and uh, it could take a little while my feet can do with the rest it's a beautiful day I'm looking forward to meeting Ina and now this beautiful black dog is gone like it's gone I was like love at first sight like he looked at me and I looked at him and I went like, you can't come with me. And he went like, I don't care, I'm coming with you. And uh, I kept telling him like, don't do it because you're, you'll break my heart. And already like, I'm feeling really sad that that he's just, just a walk alone. Like, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Oh man, when I get home, I want a dog. I want to save all all those beautiful creatures. Like, oh, there's lots of stuff I want. Anyway, Fakirel, I'm like a, a kilometer outside of Fakirel. I've done enough for today, like 23 kilometers. That's enough. Um, yeah. Now we wait.